Okay, so what I see in this salt is two edges at the top, and then a band of four and a band of two. So in inspection, I plan to pair these up with those two, so I can make that a kite, and then the scallop kite at the bottom, and then just solve scallop kite. So next, to do CO, I put those two up at the top, and then do that. Then I just do the standard edge orientation algorithm. I'm trying to predict CP in edge orientation, but I can't really do that right now. So then, look up at the top, it's an opposite swap, so that's parity. I look at the bottom, that's an R perm with a block, so that's parity. So this is a not parity situation. So I just do uh, the number J perm alg. And then I get to this situation, and I see two opposite swaps and a middle layer. And what I should have done in the situation is do this alg, which solves the swap and the, uh, and the middle layer. But uh, what I decide to do in this situation, which is really bad, is to just do U2, M2, U2, M2, and then flip it on the bottom. I, I never do that. I don't know why I decided to do it in the solve. But it was a 14, so I guess it was worth it. So solve 2 has the exact same cube shape as solve 1, except this one's on the top now and this one's on the bottom. So you do the exact same thing, kite and scallop, and then just solve, CO, EO, okay, so for CP at the top I see headlights, two small blocks, that means there's parity, on the bottom I see headlights, and one big block. Uh, that's A perm, which means that there's no parity here. So parity and no parity, that means there is parity. So I just do the CP parity algorithm for when there's uh, two J perms, which is this. So then I'm left with opposite on the top and O perm on the bottom. This isn't one of the fastest EPs, but it's one of the easiest EPs. All you have to do is M2. M2, M2, and there you go, EUF, that's 15 seconds. Eight seconds. So we have barrel at the bottom and fist at the top. What I like to do is imagine the fist being in two pieces. This, the long bar of edges and the adjacent bar of edges. And each one I'm going to pair up, oops, I think that was there, it doesn't really matter. Each one I'm going to pair up with a different pair of pieces. So the long bar is going to pair up with these two and the adjacent one is going to pair up with these two, like that. So that we have pot and muffin. You can just move the, the paw over there and put move these two back. So now we just have pieces of two. And once you just have blocks of two edges, it's pretty easy to get into cube shape. That's scallop, scallop. And you're good. So next, I'm going to solve CO just like that. EO, adjacent, adjacent, just like that. So next, you have solve at the bottom. And you have an R perm with a block on top. That's parity. So you just need to do the parity algorithm. Just this, not wrong with this. There. Then we just left with the U perm on bottom with the middle flipped. So just do the U perm out and cancel into the flip. AUF. And it's done.
So, I saw these four on top, and these two adjacent. So I decided to make a kite and scallop. And then, because I thought I could do a uh, fist fist without looking, but turns out I couldn't because I did this. And I thought that would get me to kite kite somehow, so then I had to like do this and had a bit of trouble. But eventually I managed to make it. I'm about to here. Bring that over. So now I had this edge orientation. Which I could do. And then, so up here I saw headlights, bar, headlights, and bar. That means R perm, and then another bar, so that's parity. And up at the top, I, and at the bottom, I mean, I see headlights and a bar, which is G perm, which is not parity. So I got a parity solve. So I just do the JJ algorithm. And I see this adjacent and W on bottom. So the way I solve this is I just do edge, edge, and the U perm. And then I somehow forgot to do the AUF and I just put that down. Eight seconds. So I see this, I don't really need to explain to you how to do this, but um, what I did is an inspection, you could just do this, but that leaves most of the whites on the bottom, so I want to do that, so I could leave most of the whites at the top. And um, instead of doing the sensible thing, and doing that, um, somehow my brain decided that I should move this back, then move this to the front, then solve cube shape, for some reason. <laughs> that, that lost me <laughs> so much time. Um, but then, from there, it's just like a standard solve. So, edge orientation, I see R perm plus blocks, so that's parity. And then I see G perm, uh, sorry, another R perm plus block, that's another parity. So, I can just do the alg, and then I just see op op. 